That was a perfect transition. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Shawn Mendes' best live vocals. So let's just jump right in. I actually haven't heard a lot of live stuff from Sean, so I'm actually really excited to um, listen to his voice in this. And um, I'm sorry if my lighting's off a little bit. My light just seems a lot brighter today than normal. Um, I'm not really sure why, but yeah. Um, just from this first, like, 14-minute clip, or 14-second clip, um, one of the things I was gonna mention is Shawn Mendes' uh, head voice is really strong. I notice that he kind of favors it a lot whenever he sings. Um, uh, it's, like, one of the things that I've, um, noticed about him as I was listening to his music and stuff. He does favor his, uh, head voice a lot, so his, like, breathiness and, like, very light, um, register... Uh, I noticed that he sings with that a lot. Uh, I really like that register, but, um, I don't know, some people I think don't uh, like that necessarily. like live videos or something or like covers on his like instagram or something is that what these are from because i have no idea <laughs> well i mean i know this is his song but i can't have you That's what song this was. I actually really like his voice. transition was a little not perfect but um i'm just being nitpicky because obviously i'm like trying to analyze this but i know he's practicing so it doesn't really matter but still he sounds actually very tired yeah he's trying to fix it it sounds like me every day just walking through my house Texture. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if that was intentional, but it still sounded really good. I don't know what he's saying. Why does that sound weird? I think there's really heavy reverb, I think is what it is. He's falling off his runs a little bit, it sounds like. Not a noticeable amount, but... Be healthy. He does sound good, like. 
Tired, strained. Okay, so here's what I want to say about this. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose. If he is, I don't like it. But it's a preference thing. So it's like if you like that kind of textured sound, um, then that's fine. If you don't, then you don't. But for me personally, it sounds like he's hurting his vocal cords. So if he's sick, then of course, like your, your voice is strained. You're sick. You had to perform. That happens to a lot of people. But just, um, I personally don't think that that sounds good if he's do is doing it on purpose. But that's just a personal preference thing. It just sounds like he's hurting his voice. I don't want to listen to somebody hurt their voice personally. But I'm not saying that he's bad. I just personally don't like that. Because he sounds tired for whenever he turned out of that register. So I think it might just be tired. He sounds like it already sounds so much healthier here. So much I think that's actually still head voice. Uh, I think. I don't think that's falsetto. I think that's still head voice. Because it's inside voice, so he's not. Oh, real quick, before I get any farther into this, I just want to say real quick is that this is my gen genuine raw reaction to his vocals because I have heard him sing before and I have listened to his songs before, but I've never actually watched any live videos from him, so this is just a first actual reaction to his actual raw vocals. Um, just so if you guys are curious, I don't know. Sorry, it's so bright. Little vibrato. Tightens it up. So one of the things that he does, I uh, one of the things that I notice that he does is. The majority of his songs are in his inside voice or head voice area, so it's like not, it's really breathy, and he sings that pretty high up on like, pretty high, um, he, a lot of his songs are like that, uh, you got a couple of them that are pretty powerful and pretty belty, like Mercy, and a couple of his other ones, but a lot of them are in kind of his head voice range, and one thing I've noticed is that it's really easy to the head voice is one of the hardest areas of your voice to control. Like, it's difficult to control your head voice. And I can, you can kind of hear some of the times whenever he's in it, it's a little shaky. Like, it's not bad. It doesn't sound bad. Um, especially for the type of music that he does. Um, but, yeah, you can kind of tell where his, his, his head voice isn't always perfect because it's really difficult to be perfect in your head voice. <laughs> See, like, being off-key in that is on purpose. Yeah. Do you remember how it felt? Seem to I ever cross your mind?
That was a perfect transition. I love those. And he just does his like screaming though. He doesn't have a very low range. Like I don't like his range is high. Like like I can't hit that note. That note that he's having trouble with hitting. I I think it's on purpose, but still the uh, uh, that's where my range stops too. So his songs are perfectly in my range, but I don't understand. Like he like I don't know. He has a very high range. And he's actually, he's whispering that. I mean, people always say the people are whispering, but he's seeing that um, with his inside voice, too. Switch. Right I like that. Um, I actually think his voice is really good, specifically for the music that he does. If he tried to do music that was um, out of his register, you would, I feel like you could, I feel like he's one of those singers that's kind of like, I kind of put him and, and, and singers like Selena Gomez in the same category, and I love Selena Gomez, I love her voice, but I put them in the same category of, they sing the songs that are best for their voice. People always say like Billie Eilish, Selena Gomez, people like think that they can't sing and it's not that, it's just like you, maybe you don't like the songs that they pick for their voice. I personally, I think Selena Gomez sounds incredible. I think Billie Eilish can sing very well and just the same with Sean, I think he picks songs that fit his voice and they sound great for him and stuff. I do think that I don't know what necessarily some of these clips are from, but I do think that if they're from tours or a time whenever he, see, I know he was really popular a couple of years back, and I'm sure he's still very popular now, but I just mean at the height of his, like, right, when, right whenever he became, like, super big, he um, was doing shows all the time, and that can't be, that's, it can be bad for your voice when you do stuff like that, and I think that he was probably just tired in a couple of these clips. I don't know how old they are or where they're from. This video said it was updated in 2020, so probably 2019, 2018 clips, but I really like his voice, so any, so I'm not, when I, when I critique somebody's voice or say that I think that they are shining or something, it doesn't mean that I don't like them. I'm just actually stating something that I'm hearing, so if I hear, like, I'm like, oh, it sounds like he's struggling there, I want to say that I, it sounds like he's struggling there because I am watching these videos to learn and to, like, you know, react. I want it to be like an honest reaction. So I really like his voice and I really hope you guys like this video. And if you guys want to see more videos of him, you guys can suggest videos that you want me, re me to react to down below. And I will see you guys next time. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave